What's happening, folks? We're back with another Master Riff, and unlike I thought last time, we're actually going out to Marina del Rey. For some reason, I thought this episode took place on the East Coast, but it's the opposite. It's out here in sunny California, a little bit north of where I live, up in Los Angeles County. It's an unincorporated territory. In any case, uh, we're going to meet Max's dad, as I think I mentioned before. Uh, there's a lot of heavy-handed acting in this episode, as well as some great action with Okasa's final appearance in the show. He's actually involved in two fights, so at least we get a two-for-one for the final Okasa. In any case, let's get it started. Three, two, one, go. Come at me. Feel my presence. He says that to Max a lot. Your enemy can attack from any direction. You won't see him, but you'll know. Again. <laughs> I think you had just a small advantage. Yours would be the advantage when you can sense the sword without seeing the blade. <laughs> Is that lingerie tied around his head? Welcome to Tommy Chong Park. Dad wrote to me about the fog in this place. It comes up from the marshes. Something eerie about it. How long has it been since you've seen your father? A couple of years. Look, this isn't going to be any big reunion scene or anything. Just want to make sure he's okay, then we're out of here. Assuming we survive about? these driving conditions. What? But the real problem is between you and your father. What we have here is a failure to communicate. And an episode title. Did you see that? <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. She's a little top heavy, unfortunately. A real wildcat. Give it up, Miss Hunter. Before we break both your arms, it makes no difference to me. Oh, oh damn. Whoa, watch yourself, buddy. I'd say. Sorry. Let's go. We're out of here. <laughs> Show off. Oh. Oh. You guys are good. Well, so hey, are don't include Max on that. Just two? Yeah. How long have you been studying? Six years. Well, you let him get too close. See, when, when you're saying like it's a hole of your arm like this, you twist under it. Mm. Tap him oh. on the forehead like that. That's all that's necessary. Are you quite finished yet? Yeah, thank you, Max. Kathy Hunter. John Peter McAllister. This is Max Keller doing the driving, and that's Henry spinning around on the wheel. By far the best character in the show. A lawyer? That's my father. We'll drop Max off at his father's office, and I'll take you home. <laughs> Consult your local regulations before letting an uninsured ninja drive your van. I remember that. I didn't see you there. I didn't see you either. I hope you haven't brought bad news. Well, what technically Max either? is bad news. How did you know that the fog clings to your clothes? That astringent aroma. And you must have touched a headstone. They have that musty Oh, she the borrowed Elton John's glasses. And gasoline on your fingers. You pumped gas a little while ago. That's right. Now, if you could tell me what kind of vehicle. A van. I could hear it idling outside. Very distinctive. Mr. Keller is not in right now. He's in court, but if you'd like to... Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry. I always forget. Let there be light. Ah, uh, even blind I can tell you're anyway, unappealing. if you'd like to leave your name, I know we haven't met before. Your, your aura is new, but, but your voice... And your smell. You've called here. Some time ago. Max Keller. Right again. You must be Dad's secretary, Laura Crane. He never told me that you were. He forgets. He really does. It's the nicest compliment he gives me. Would you? Would you be offended if I asked to touch your face? No. She's accessorized with a car seatbelt. Ah, you're like a cave troll. 
I'd kill her cheekbone. I'd know it anywhere. That picture you were looking at, you moved it from its place. That's a two-stroke penalty, sir. Before the plane crash, wasn't it? The day before. And the day after the funeral, you turned your back on your father and took off. Is that the way he tells it? He doesn't talk about it. The older man you were saying goodbye to outside. You're really amazing. A surrogate father. Look, I just want... Oh, you can get mad. It's allowed. You said my father's in court. <laughs> Did we skip a couple pages of dialogue here? They called a couple of hours ago. A motion for postponement. Patrick never made it. Where is he then? Probably in the tavern down the street. Look, why don't you just leave? Just Max hears that a lot, fair away. to say. He doesn't have to know that you were ever here. Yes, he does. All right. I'll take you. Let me leave a note for my friend. Who will telepathically know to break in and find it. Thank you. Not of the good hope. At Seven Hospital. But they must have taken her somewhere. Her car was totaled. Unless... I know. I know what you're thinking. Shots? If anyone's harmed her, if anyone's... Close. But no cigar. Kathy, thank God. Darling. Oh, darling. Oh, Daddy, I'm okay. Kathy, sweetheart, what happened? I'll tell you later. Oh, no, you don't. You can't just walk out of my life now. Isn't there a saying in the Orient that once you save a person's life... <laughs> Edward Said's hackles just went up. Belongs to you? No one should belong to anyone else. Master, well, I'm that ninja, kind of guy in philosopher. Life. Will you come? Will that discharge my obligation? It'll come close. Let me introduce you. I don't get saved from myself every day. Master... I told you where Kathy Hunter would be. That's the best I can do. We grabbed her. But two drifters came out of nowhere to be good Samaritans. So oh, just was one of them Benny King? Again at the reception. I won't do it. How many days have you missed in court this year, Keller? How many of your clients have been convicted because you've been off in some gutter swilling booze? Huh? Now I know that's not important to you. Hey, I take booze very seriously. Stock options. Hmm? We would want to see those end up on the DA's desk, now, would we? I had nothing to do with that deal. Your signature's on every page of those contracts. I've never been tough talked by someone in a turtle before. I guess you before. just don't remember signing them. Hmm? This place a little crowd of you, isn't hey, it? Hey, a female Bob it Barker. The idea I like crowds. Just sit me down, put a drink in my hand, and keep close. Okay, right here. Tomorrow afternoon. Two o'clock sharp. Don't be late. Have a drink on me. The lawyers for ACDC file a lawsuit. Be right back. First among the dead, then among the living. You have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> I recognize the odor the immediately. Max got into a fight. No kidding. Come on, Laura. Oh, Casa, just cool, eh? What happened? Ran into our friends from the graveyard. Meet my dad? Yeah, same way I met you. And he smelled just as bad. Going to be all right? I'll be fine. Good. I'll see you tomorrow, so to speak. May I walk you home? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Damn, how many degrees does he have? Gotta hide it from her. 
cares a great deal for you. How long has she been blind? A couple of years. Automobile accident. There's oh, no... I thought she was blinded by the light. The way she's adjusted. Wrapped up like a... Because she's decided not Never just mind. to manage to get by. She's a fighter, and I'm not. Is that what you're trying to say, Max? I'm trying to say hello. Well, you took a long time getting to it. I wasn't sure of the right words. Which pick up His head bus? is remarkably I rectangular. Only it was me going through the window. It pulled me out of it. it saved my life. I've done that a few times. Better hang on to him. You always wanted a father. Look, Dad, I just came here. Why did you come here? What were you looking for? Dramatic zoom. A handout? A forgotten memory? Touch base? Make sure your old man is in line in the gutter someplace? Well, you did your duty. You expect a hug and a slap on the back for that? That's what I expect a lot. Dramatic from. zoom, number two. You have two. a lot to give if you only let yourself do it. You think this is going to help? You think this is going to bring back Mom and Jimmy? Look at you. man who loves words. The world-weary romantic. The famed lawyer. There is nothing romantic about a drunk. Go ahead, hit me. Go for it. Make a gesture. I don't care what it is, but do it. Get out of here, Max. Sure. That's the easy way out. That's why I went before. But you're not getting rid of me that easily. I think I'll stick around for a while. Suit yourself. That's what I used to do. Despite the complaints. Someone opened my eyes that there were more people in the world besides myself. There's one thing Callus has taught me. It's to reach out your hand to someone you love. Here. Take it. I gotta be in court tomorrow morning. I mean, does he have like then 12 juris doctorates? Hunter, she's getting married. Her father's a client. We can talk again tomorrow night. Like I said, we have here is a failure to communicate. As well as a pair of bad haircuts. I realize I'm to blame for a lot of it. I wasn't there when you needed me. It will be this time. Good to see you, Max. I dispute that. How long's Keller been like this? Self-destructive? Maudlin? Rectangular? As long as I've known him. A couple of years, I guess. Ever since that plane crash when he lost his wife and his oldest son. And just lately past couple of days he's been worse his head is actually there. a cube now something i can just feel it i've been trying to help him but he is a killer what is it someone's near us i can hear him breathing softly in contrast with yeah. max the mouth breather just up ahead you stay here Hey, thanks, Okasa. Such a helpful assassin. Up, will you, Okasa? Dedication to an idea. Is that not what you taught me? Well, I'm pretty sure I also taught you not to kill me, but whatever. I try not to look at Lee Van Cleef from that angle if I can avoid it. Young man named Okasa sworn to kill me. He's like 35. It's gotta be tough. Well, sure it is. But you learn to cope. Otherwise, you just curl up in a corner of your mind and, and sit in the darkness. And I don't do that. My mind is full of light and colors and memories. 
And now, so bald ninjas. So that you can for me and make my teeth itch. Would you please put the photograph back where I can find it? What do you look like? Well, I... <laughs> that was an odd answer. Would you mind? You're very tall. Is he? High cheekbones. Are they? A little sparse on top. <laughs> oh, definitely. But a very strong face. Your ears especially. What kind of a picture does that give you? Mm -hmm. That western movie actor. Clint Eastwood. Close. Your aura is incredibly strong. I could feel it the moment you walked into the tavern. Just a little bit of that is rubbed off on Max. Oh, they rubbed off he'll on each other, all right. Oh, he'll try, I know that. Good night, Mark. Good night. I hope you're right. This is Patrick's last chance. You want to tell me about it? Father and son reunion didn't exactly turn out to be a blast. Would you like me to talk to him? Uh, he's threatened by your very presence. It's like the ladies with me. With. What are we doing here? You know I hate these things. Well, look on the bright side. It's not you that's getting married. Right. Kathy will probably take him three out of four falls tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more like a second-tier brunch. Congratulations, Kathy. Thank you. You too, Paul. Quite a bash. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Reward for your graveyard rescue? I played the dulcimer for graveyard rescue. Hi. Hi, darling. Laura, I'm so glad you're here. You're beautiful. Congratulations. Mm. Bride's prerogative. Best looking dude at the party. Let's go get your drink. Yeah. Also, we might want to check your blood I pressure. Could use another glass of champagne. Lawrence Max. How'd it go last night? A little tough. I heard you had some excitement yourself. Well, your surrogate father can take care of himself. What is it? I'm haunted by know. the memory of his cheekbones. All the people, I guess. The different voices. Could I get a little fresh air? Sure. Come on. Thank you. No small talk among henchmen Harold and Robert. Could you get me a glass of champagne? You got it. It's really Thank you. beautiful, Kathy. Thank you, off-camera wedding guest. Kathy, uh, listen, you gotta get out of here. Can we go outside for a minute? What? Well, please, I'll, I'll explain later. Come on, please. Station Wagon, Henchman Edition. Here they are. Let's get her. Got that Max Beetle off the window. All units alerted, Lieutenant. No reports. They just disappeared. How's that possible? Planning. We had a net blanketing the area in under four minutes. 
You should have alerted us last night at the attempted kidnapping. I talked to the police department. A Sergeant Rossetti, he said he'd get back to me. He was a little late, wasn't he? Don't worry, we'll find her. How? With a witness like that, what use is she? Ms. I Crane. mean, look at her taste in glasses. I'm Lieutenant Ryan. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What for? Mr. Stillman's right. What you am I? Poor Kathy. Grab Had to kiss hand. the master? I witness right there, pulls off his ski mask, looks right into his face and sees nothing at all. No, but you could hear him and you could feel him. Now, how tall was he? Uh, about 5'10", I guess. What was he wearing? <sighs> Tweed coat. What kind of buttons? Uh, those big walnut coats. You're doing great, Laura. What else? Because people can never take jackets off. Uh, open shirt, silk, uh, jeans, no back pockets. Any other characteristics? Short hair. Uh, breathes with difficulty. Probably had asthma as a child. Maybe uh, spare us the pediatric annotations. A signet ring on his right hand with some sort of distinctive inlay design. And, uh, oh, one of those computer watches with the little buttons on his other wrist. You mean those Tiger Electronics games? That's about the best eyewitness account I ever heard. I'd like you to take a ride downtown with me and repeat all of that for the captain and detectives. <laughs> Probably should have just recorded home. you talking, Set but whatever. At your place. Come, Laura. Eyewitness, we're taking it downtown. So he planted a microphone over there, too? Don't even try it. Well, according to Yoda, that's not even possible. We can deliver you home to Daddy in one piece. But in what condition is entirely up to you. With a turtleneck or without? I'd like to hurt you. Think you can remember that? Hmm? Chuck! Take her out of here. Awkward jeans for an awkwardly dressed villain. You tried to run out on us, Keller. Bad move. You're gonna kill her, are you? Could be. Doesn't matter about me. When I sold out to you, I threw away the only integrity I had left. But if you harm Kathy, they'll hunt you down no matter where you go. They'll find you, and they'll kill you. They're like Liam Close Neeson. arguments, Consular. Get him out of here. Why'd they kidnap my father? Booze-related purposes? I mean, why? Why'd they take him, too? Kathy's all they needed for a ransom. That's a good question. Tell me again, Max. I can't tell you any more than I already told Lieutenant Ryan. She's listening with a different pair of ears. Why don't you listen to her? Listen to her listening to me? Keys. Like the ones you carry? Keys to the van? No, one big old key. Rusted. And the map? Couldn't make out any details in the ringed area. But it was on the upper side. That puts it in the northern part of town. Let me feel your hands. As the rest of us investigate the master's nose. They're coarse. Dust off the trunk of the station wagon. No. That's what I tell people They're anyway. Earth. Northern part of the town. The graveyard. Yes. Well, I was so confused and frightened, but that same musty smell that you had when you first walked into the office, Max, the kidnapper, he had it. There's nowhere there to hide anyone. The church on the hill. An ancient door. That key just might fit. It's a long shot. Like all my but attempts at flirting. I was hoping you'd say that. Come on. We'll drop you off at your apartment. Meanwhile, a dog barks in a void. Gordon Hunter. I'm on a street corner, Mr. Hunter. So by the time your lieutenant traces this call, there'll be some old lady here discussing morality with her daughter. 
Now, the <laughs> ransom for Little known fact, kids. That's what we used to do on payphones in the 80s. In three hours. Or she and your lawyer die. I don't have that kind we of We will money. spare his you embarrassing son, though. You don't understand how these things work. I'd have to sell stock certificates, take out a personal loan, then I'd have to... Just get the money into a briefcase, Mr. Hunter. I want to speak to my daughter. I want to be sure that she's... The lieutenant will tell you your daughter's already dead. She might be. They both might be. Schrodinger's That's payphone. You're just gonna have to take. I'd like to kill her, Mr. Hunter. I really would. Remember that. Another station well, wagon. Trace. Well, can you raise the money? Together we can. Gordon, if we pull our resources, we can do it. Can you get that amount of money in a briefcase by midnight tonight? Whatever it takes. Who's there? Uh, knock knock? Wait until dark, and also hope maybe a ninja will help you. <laughs> Sounds like two cats are playing on the piano. The most dramatic stair walking I've ever seen. a lot of nostril. Isn't that just great? <laughs> I hope they reimburse the diocese for the door. I don't see the point of sneaking if Max is running around like a wildebeest. The Keller B.O., obviously. I'm afraid I used it up for the both of us. Yes. Kathy, they took her to the boiler room. That's the other half of the team. The more top-heavy half. You are right. Yeah. Let's go. All you had to do was keep them on ice for 12 hours. They come from out of nowhere. Twice! If there had been three of you there, but no! Oh, nice. Our own little Fargo storyline. You have to grab... The eyewitness. A blind girl. We didn't know she was. I know that! I think you need to ease up on the cocaine, my man. I know it. Maybe what you did is all right after all. All right, then. Will you stop shouting?
Miss Gordon Hunter. There must be a heartwarming scene there, Mr. Hunter. Your daughter back in the mink line fold, rescued from a fate worse than death. Maybe what, watching a Pauly Shore body. movie? Got the lieutenant on, too. Good. Same circumstances, Mr. Hunter. Nothing has changed. Max is still irrelevant. A beautiful girl. A million dollar ransom. The only thing that's different is the identity of the victim. Laura Crane, your lawyer's secretary. Why would you... A little over-initiative on our part, I'm afraid. <laughs> this guy is almost literally chewing she the scenery. She was an eyewitness that had to be silenced. That's ironic, isn't it? And you seriously think I'd consider spending that kind of money on a virtual stranger? Interesting moral dilemma, Mr. Hunter. If you don't, she's dead. An hour ago, you'd have done anything to save a girl's life. It was my daughter. Doesn't Laura have as much right to live? Sure. What's your stake in this? You're just passing through. No roots, nothing to lose. I spent 25 years building up that bank. You don't just throw away a professional career like that. You'd do if a girl's life's at stake. And she's sitting alone in the darkness, terrified, waiting for you to put a price on her life. I think the master should at least have to pitch in a fiver. You're right, of course. I couldn't let that girl die. I uh, told the lieutenant whatever it takes. I'll pay the ransom. Maybe you won't have to. Which is why I just guilt tripped you. Reflex is shot. Balance gone. Hell of a scrapper Max's old man used to be. A romantic. Poet. And now he's just a drunk. Enter his surrogate father. Well, at least he's got you. That's not enough. I am a friend. A mentor. Kanoichi. Or wait, not remember. that last one. One he can look up to, respect. He's gonna find that pretty hard. I can handle this. Old dudes looking at each other. I want to talk about a conspiracy. To kidnap Kathy Hunter. You said at the reception. A reward for your graveyard rescue. Now, there's no way you could have known about the fight in the graveyard. Unless Laura told you and she didn't, I asked her. I don't well, know he did read the about. script, though. At the tavern. The same three men. At the reception. You got Kathy out just at the right moment. I mean, you didn't expect them to kidnap you along with her. You did exactly what they expected. And so now they're gonna kill you. I wish they had. Stock option. I set the deal. Fraud. I got involved unknowingly. He held it over me. He minored in drunk poetry as an undergrad. Girl. No one was to get hurt. I tried to stop it at the reception. A million dollars, and she's returned. You don't have to believe that. But it's the truth. Who's behind it? Paul Stillman. Kathy's new husband. I'll go to the police. Pretty unfortunate for Kathy, no matter what happens here. You know where Laura would be. There's a crippled liner, it's a passenger liner, down at the docks. Tourist attraction is under repairs now. Deserted. Stillman owns it. That's all I can think of. McAllister. What do you think about a pancake run right now? So wait, is it night or day, and are we in the ocean or in a hotel? On. I've told you. Where'd you get the location? Leave it, Max. I don't understand. He's trying to spare Well, that's nothing you. new, Max. Dad, I set Kathy up to be kidnapped. I was being blackmailed. When I tried to stop it, it was too late. Now they got Laura. You could have talked to me. It would have helped. Like I said, son, it was too late. I'll be giving myself up to the police, but I want to go Not with you. Not a chance. 
You may need a back. I'm not going to take a chance on getting that girl killed. She's my responsibility, and that's my son you're taking with you. I need to be there, McAllister. So I can see him get beaten up, too. Give me this one chance. Thank you for that shot of the villain climbing the stairs somewhere on the ship. Shouldn't he be in a white ninja outfit here? I've been expecting you, Akasa. Good thing the master's learned to protect himself from someone who attacks with a pointed stick. Yes, Okasa's patented buffalo batch attack. You are retreating, Master. Afraid of the student? You always said one day he would become the master. Yeah, but he also said Max is a good person, so I question his judgment. Oh nice, my rash run away. Where's the girl? Where is she? Blow decks. In the kitchen. Eating a pizza bucket. Finally worked. Surely you have to say sayonara there. So what was Okasa's plan there? Smelling like a wet dog. Sounds like Shaft is on board suddenly. I don't want you to see when I get my butt kicked.
guy really needs to stop walking into rooms leading with his gun. Oops, sorry. I guess not. Two men. Right in front of us. Stay here. But you won't know where they are. And we can hear both of you. Feel my presence here. Turn. That's it. In the darkness, an enemy can come at you from any direction. You don't have to see him. You'll know. anywhere, Keller. You and your old man? Both losers. You know, he's a kidnapper, terrorist, and terrible husband, but he's not wrong. Laura. Dad. I always told you I had a hard head, but a lot steadier hand than I hoped for. <laughs> what kept Max is uninterested in Patrick's joke. Are you all right? Yeah. I knew where they were, even in the dark. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of them. Take this wrong, but when will we see you both again? I think pretty soon. Then again, I told the same to Maggie Sinclair and Riverton, so who knows? You've got the strongest I've ever encountered. Stronger than Max's B.O. even. You too. Patrick T. Keller for the defense, his own. I may need a character witness. You've got two, only it won't be necessary. Yeah, the uh, Hunter family decided to drop all charges against you. Stillman told the DA about his little blackmail plot. And those signatures of yours and that stock option fraud? Forged. You never signed anything. I don't remember. I just assumed. We'll need you in court this afternoon for the arraignment. Thanks, Counselor. Easy does it. Also, you might say you a kind word to Kathy, wedding, who just endured the worst wedding day of all time. For my homies, bitch. You're gonna need help. Just taking it one day at a time, son. And I got Laura. You got a good teacher there. Listen to everything he says. He's got a way with words. So do you. As for me, I just can't find the words very easily. But Max suffocated in his dad's arms, and the show ended. I still say Roger Pancake is an excellent name. Shout out to Show as well as Michael Sloan. So yeah, another cool episode. Uh, the next time we're going to stay in the greater Los Angeles area and go to Beverly Hills for the penultimate episode, which I will now reveal features my favorite female lead, so we'll look forward to that. Do let me know what you think of this one, and I'll see you next time. Peace.